Hey folks, Dave Aschenbrenner back again. Today we're going to report on our trailside trike demo ride that we had last weekend. We had a great turnout and many enthusiastic people there. The staff was very accommodating and without further ado, we're going to listen to what some of the first time riders had to say about the AR3 and their experience on it. All right, this is Marlene. She just took a test ride on the new AR3, a demo on it. Marlene, what uh, what did you think? I, th I thought it was awesome. Um, I'm used to riding horses, so just being able to shift your weight uh, and have the trike move, uh, I mean, that, that's just awesome. So easy to keep on the trail, because the trail usually will angle. Probably, and you don't yeah. have to fight it. You right. don't have to fight to keep it straight. And you just shift your weight stays there. Sure. I mean really hands on steering, hands off. I mean, and, it's wonderful. And what uh, what did you think like the steering radius when we did our turnaround? Everything? Oh it was tight. Work? I mean it was unbelievably tight. Okay. Yeah. It was a lot tighter than my Scorpion. Great. I, mean, you... I need a parking lot in my Scorpion. Okay. I mean this just So you ride a Scorpion. Yeah. Is that a three wheeler? Yeah. That's a trike? Okay. And uh, how long have you been riding trike? Uh well only about two years. Okay. Horses for 50. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's why it's so easy for me to shift my weight. Sure, that qualifies. And and have the trike basically do what I want. Right. Yeah. This is Marlene. Thanks, Marlene. Hi. What's your name? Al. Al. You just took a demo ride on the new AR3. What did you think of it? What was your impression? Very comfortable ride. Uh, very easy to ride. A uh, little bit of a learning curve, learning how to lean into it, but it wasn't that hard. Right. You know. An old dumb guy like me can learn it. <laughs> so you enjoyed your ride then? It was wonderful. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Now um, you you have a recumbent. I do. Already, it's. I do. I have an ice. You have an ice, and how does this compare to the ice? Uh. Well, I'd have to ride this a lot more to make a good comparison. Sure. But. Uh, compared to my first impressions on my ice. This is a uh, much easier ride. Okay. Thanks for coming here and riding this thing. Thanks for making it available. You're going to be going back up to Wisconsin, up near Hayward? Yep. I think I wish I was on the Santos Trail with it. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about that. <laughs> Very different. What did you like and not like about it? Anything? I like that it is a light bike, but that it feels like a heavy bike in performance. I like the twisting. Yeah, it's cool. Really neat bike. Okay, so you just got to ride the new AR3? I did, and what a, what an experience. It's yeah. just, uh, it's, it's nimble, it's fast. Uh, it's just a joy. It puts a smile on your face from the first pedal uh, all the way through. Yeah, what did you like about the steering? What uh, what were you, was your impression on the steering? The first couple of first first couple of times on it, I was more trying to steer than lean, so it, it seemed a little stiff. But the more I got used to it, and the less I grabbed onto the handlebars, and just kind of did a little bit of the lean, you could feel it kind of going by itself. Okay. And I, I mean, I didn't quite get to where I could do th the figure eight slalom course, but you know that's another day, and we can make that happen too. Sure. Yep. Well, that's great. And what's your name? My name is John. John Hilliard. John? Great. And you did really well out there. I really appreciate you coming all the way here for this. Oh, it was great. And I, I hope enjoyed to, it. Hope to see you again. Yes, sir. All My right. pleasure. Thanks, John. Thanks, Dave. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right. John G is just getting off the from his demo ride here. Um, this is a wonderful gimmick. <laughs> really. I did. Wonderful. I did. I gotta tell you, I think you're gonna win. I really, really do. What did you think of the riding, the smoothness, the steering, the balance? Well, this is fine. The steering is intuitive at anything over three to five miles per hour. Slow speeds, it's a little confusing, but you get used to it in about 100 yards. It's not a big uh, uh, step to overcome. Uh, it's easier to figure out than a cruise bike. Nothing personal, Jim. <laughs> um, other than that, the little heel strike thing is easily overcome. Uh, brake steering is fairly uh, 
annoying, but that too can be remedied just by tying the two together and taking away that tendency to increase uh, the turning force by hitting the inside brake. That can be drilled out of it without a big deal. Other than that, it's solid as a rock. It works great. It's not all that expensive. And keep your eye on this bike, because this is the holy grail. You heard it from John G. Go Thanks. for it. Thanks, John. Seriously. Thank you. Go for it. Don't give up. Yeah. Well, that about wraps it up. And a few things I want to say is uh, thank you to the staff and the owners at the Trailside Trike in Floral City location. Uh, we had a great time there. The staff was very helpful and accommodating to us. So until next time, if you have any questions, you know what to do, drop them in below. This is Dave Ashenbrenner. Thank you.